Hi everyone. So I'll be speaking with you all today about my near death experience in the lift. So just stay with me because I'll be doing this video on the outside, enjoying this beautiful nature and this beautiful weather here because our weather here in Houston is very bipolar. So you just have to enjoy it when you can. So just hold on tight and stay with me today. Okay, everyone. So now I'm about to share my near death experience with you all that I had with the Lyft driver. So I ordered my Lyft on a Friday night around 10.30 p.m. I was invited to a bar downtown. And most of parking downtown in Houston, you pay for. So I felt it was more convenient to order a Lyft. So I ordered the Lyft. When my Lyft arrived, I entered the Lyft. I greeted the driver and I put on my seatbelt. So we started on our journey. And as we were about to merge onto the freeway, I noticed my Lyft driver almost hit the middle barrier that splits the service road and the freeway. So once I noticed that, I just thought maybe it was just simple driver error, which every driver have simple mistakes that they make on the road. But we also know simple mistakes can turn into fa fatal tragedies. So we merged onto the freeway and we were going over the 288 ramp, which takes you into downtown. And if you're familiar with Houston, you know the 288 ramp is high. And there is no escape route going over the 288 ramp. The only way you can go is down into oncoming traffic that's moving between 65 and 75 miles an hour. So as we were going over this ramp, I looked up and I noticed my Lyft driver, his eyes were closed, he was going to sleep and his head was nodding back. So I immediately said, sir, sir, are you okay? But I didn't yell. I didn't go into a panic. I just remained calm because I didn't want him to go into like a, uh, a frightening state of mind and make him yank the wheel and take us on the other side of the, bar the barrier off the freeway. So I asked him, was he okay? He responded, he was okay. I then asked, could I get off at the next exit and order another lift? But the lift driver insisted that he was okay. So at that point, I started talking to my lift driver. I asked him where he was from. He stayed in Venezuela. I asked him how long has he been in Houston? He responded. I asked him, was he married? He said yes. So my next question to him was, did he have children? And he told me he had a little girl. And that's when I began to tell him, you know, I understand that it is the holiday season and I do understand you have a family to provide for, but it's not worth taking your life nor someone else's life trying to make money. Because when you're gone, the money is still here, but your family doesn't have you to, to provide for them and your daughter doesn't have you to look up to anymore or to be there for her because you are the first man in her life. So. He was in agreement with me. Uh, we kept talking about his hometown, his country, and we finally made it to the destination that I was headed to. Before I got out of the lift, I said a prayer for my lift driver that he made it safely to his destination. I also asked him if he wanted a bottle of water, energy drink, coffee, anything that I could purchase for him to keep him awake so that he can make it back to his destination safely. He stated he didn't want anything, but I just want you all to be aware when you do enter into a lift, just be aware of your driver because these people are working 10, 12, 15 hours, you know, sometimes more, you know, and then they are pushing themselves to come out here and try and make more money. And you never know the situation surrounding those individuals. So I would just say be aware, um, be on the lookout, and just pay attention to your Lyft driver. And that was a, 
all I wanted to speak with you all about today and I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and if you're not subscribed subscribe I am authentically Trinetta comment below let me know what type of videos you all would like to see vlogs anything that you all would like to see just let me know down below and thank you